Good morning everyone, Lori Marie here, mixed media artist in Vallejo, California. It's so good to be back on the table. I've been playing in my altered book. This was an idea inspired by Rosemary and Julianne has helped me with it. So I pulled it off. Not the first attempt, but the second attempt I pulled it off. So it's called a waterfall booklet, something like that. Mine's not a waterfall, it slides from side to side. You'll see. So it's good to be back on the table. I want to shout out a big thank you to Valerie. She sent a nice package and a generous donation to the village, uh, which is really appreciated. Keeps us going. Thanks. And also, I picked the winners this morning. I'm just about ready to go on the live chat. It's Wednesday here. Uh, you won't see the video until probably tomorrow by the time I edit it because I teach class tonight. But I have a Melissa Tanner and a Marcella Schwab, and a Joyce Cloacy, C-L-O-H-E-C-Y. So those are our three winners. Uh, what I need from you is I need to hear from you, uh, and then I can send you some fun focal points for the collage, uh, the headdress collage that we did together. So uh, those will be in a PDF, so I'll send them right to your, your email address. So get a hold of me. You're the winners. And uh, I kind of go through the supplies for today. Um, I think the only thing that I don't mention right out of the gate is uh, watercolor paper. You'll need a, a sheet of watercolor paper at 8 by 10. I do mention that, but then I cut a strip off about an, uh, an inch wide. So that's in there someplace. I'm just not quite sure where. So some spray inks, very fun. Anyway. <laughs> Enough from me. See you on the table. So here's our project for today. Uh, I have a, a book that I hadn't finished yet, so I put this in the in that book. Isn't that fun? So we used uh, the wine box cardboard, black gesso a stencil with some white paint, some spray inks. I used white glue uh, to put this together. I might suggest something stronger like tacky glue uh, for the construction of this. I used my Stabilo, a button, and then um, a little bit of background image color. Can't do it that way and then some focal points. So this was so fun. Uh, Rosemary showed me one, it's a waterfall book. This isn't such a waterfall because it goes sideways. But she showed me a waterfall book in her book. Uh, that's what inspired me to do some research on this. And then Julianne and I um, researched it and she's helped me create that. So I am very happy with that. A nice addition to our altered book. Okay, guess who has an idea? <laughs> Why, yes I do. So to start off with our supplies, you're going to need a makeup sponge, some black gesso. These are the wine inserts from the wine boxes. Uh, I have four cards. They are three by five. I have a stencil. A piece of watercolor paper, trash, don't need that, 12 by 10 or so, 8 by 10 I bet, 8 by 10 piece of watercolor paper, some white acrylic paint, and some white glue. Okay, that's where we're going to start. So, put everything aside and I am going to paint my four cards with some black gesso. I grabbed my silicone brush and I'm just gonna smoosh some black gesso on each card.
All right, four cards, black gesso, set them aside to dry. I'm going to take my watercolor sheet and I'm going to cut it at five inches. So this is five inches, perfectly straight, of course, and I'm going to cut this at a one inch. All right, I grabbed my bone folder. We're going to come in three inches and draw a little line. And then a half inch, half inch, half inch. Okay, so we've got three inches here, a half inch, half inch, and a half inch. All right. Just going to draw a straight line, or approximately a straight line, on all those tick marks that I made. Go back in with my bone folder. Oh, I missed one. go back in with my bone folder and just score on those lines. and I'm going to fold them on the lines. So I'll go back in on those folds and I'll just take my bone folder and make sure that it's creased well. totally ignoring the lines. That's not true. Those lines are purely suggestions anyway, right? Okay. Beautiful. I'm going to grab some spray ink to just uh, tone down the white a little bit. Maybe another color too. <laughs> one color is just never enough. Let me grab another one. Beautiful. Let that dry. Oh, I better do this too, right? Alright, we're going to keep the blue and the green out because I have a feeling we're going to use that again. 
All right, I'm going to grab those dry cards. Okay, the cards are almost dry. So I'm just going to line them up here, lay my stencil on them. I'm going to put some white acrylic paint right here. Grab my makeup sponge, get a little bit of paint on my makeup sponge. And then just go around and use that stencil on those four cards. However you want. If you want to completely use the stencil, then completely use the stencil. If you just want to use parts of it on your card, just use parts of it. So just play with this process. Kind of fun. And you are going to do that on all four cards. Beautiful. And now just flip those cards over. And do the same thing on the back. Pretty darn cool. Okay, so we have four cards that are painted. We'll let those dry. They're gorgeous. So I'm going to bring my corner cutter in and just round off these corners. This is a Zutter corner cutter. And I don't know if they don't make it anymore or what, but I can't find it. And then just put these four together again somehow, doesn't matter how. Grab that spray ink. I'm just using blue and green. Let that dry, flip it over, do the same thing. Let them dry. Okay, so I have my four cards. I have four focal points. And I have four colorful backgrounds. Aren't those fun? So remember that this has the um, spray ink on it, which is water soluble. So we'll need to put the Mod Podge on our image rather than on the card. So grabbing my Mod Podge and my baby blue, I'm going to just put some Mod Podge on the back of the colorful piece and just place it down willy-nilly. And then a focal point. Mod Podge on a focal point off screen because I've got so much ink on my table. I'm sure you all take time to clean up your spot every time. This girl does not. It'll get clean. And 
to just have fun decorating your four cards. Fun so far. All right, I'm going to run through my cards and just to below the edges of the cards and also the edges of the focal points that I just put down. And you can spend as much time as you want on embellishing these cards. I'm just doing a quick little something something. And do that on all four cards. Okay, at this point, do you want to bring a white paint pen and add some fun dots? What would you like to do to your cards? I'm just leaving these as is. Right, I'm bringing back in that strip of paper that has been folded. Now you get to decide which one you want to be on the front of your book. Because you're going to go like this. This, this, and this. So which one do I want on the front? We're going to have Be Brave on the front. So I'm going to grab my white glue, put down some white glue, and completely glue down one of your cards. Just give it a little bit of wiggle room from that line. There we go. From that fold. And The next card. And the next card. So what I'm going to do here is make a little handle. So I'll cut this away. aside. I'm going to bring in that other strip that's about one inch wide that we sprayed and measure it against our little book. I'm going a little bit larger than where that line was. 
So there can be some wiggle room for that book to slide around. So there's my line, and that's where I folded it. Give this one a little bit of wiggle room. And fold that. We can cut off that excess, don't really need it that large. We'll just do that. Now, now this is one of the books I haven't finished. I didn't realize I hadn't finished. It definitely needs a little TLC. This was a failed attempt <laughs> at what we are doing together right now. So hopefully this one will not be a failed attempt. I'm going to take these flaps and put some white glue on the flaps. I haven't used white glue in a little while, so just thought I would grab it for this project. Paper on paper should be fine. Okay, I'm gonna glue this down. the center from, center from top to bottom and I am going a bit to the right I hope I'm not sorry and we're gonna let that dry dry in place while that dries I'm just gonna put a little bit of Stabilo On our little handle there. I'm going to sew a little button on there for that handle. Poke a couple holes in here. I don't even bother to knot the thread. I'm just going to run it through a couple of times there. I have four threads coming through at once. Four threads, eight threads, four threads. Oh, you know I like the threads. I'm going to just leave that there. I'm just going to put a touch of uh, white glue on there to keep that knot in place. That'll dry clear, but that'll hold it from slipping any place. Okay, this is not quite dry, but we're going to pretend that it, that it is. I'm just going to smooch up this a little bit. So I clearly have to hide that, right? So I'm just going to grab some Mod Podge. And some underpants. Just conceal that little boo-boo. Perfect.
All right, we're just about dry. I'm going to take my book, slide it into that one inch piece that we put on there. I'm going to put some white glue on this one inch strip. shadows this evening. Had some hubbies away for a couple hours so I can play. And then I am going to glue this to that. There we go. Right there. Beautiful. This is going to hang off. Let's let it dry. We'll check on it in the morning. Good morning. You don't get to see the book working yet. What I want to say is this area is going to be exposed when you pull the uh, book out. So I don't like that being bare. So I'm just going to grab some colorful paper and uh, put that on there. I'll just rip that and Mod Podge that on there. Now this is the slidey part of the book. So this part has to be thin, so I'm just going to put one little colored paper on there to distract the eye from that blinding whiteness. So that that's going to be Mod Podge down, and then I'm going to take my Stabilo and just go around the edge of that. Okay, so I went around the edge with the Stabilo, and then now I'm going to let this dry, and then we will have our example, our debut. All right, here's our little booklet. Let's see what happens. Oh, very fun, very fun. So I just have four uh, pages, four tiles, actually. So you can do as many as you want, but this worked for me. Uh, I had done another one back here, my first one, and uh, yeah, that's not too bad either. Gets a little stuck. Oh. So very fun. Your turn. Go create. Go play. Go have fun. <laughs>